Hey guys, my name is Jason with Not Bigger Mining and Metals, and on today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to do uh, kind of production smelting. Um, I've gotten a few guys ask about you know smelting a whole bunch of material and uh, getting the precious metals out. So uh, I have a one kilogram sample of concentrates off our shaker table, and these are our flux components here. This is 400 grams of anhydrous borax, 600 grams of soda ash. And here I have 250 grams of litharge and 250 grams of potassium nitrate that'll act as an oxidizer as well as our collector metal with the litharge. Now my view on production smelting has kind of evolved a little bit. Uh, I've done enough experiments now that I understand that you're never going to be able to get all the gold. Uh, but if you can get a high percentage of it, 95% plus, in one smelt, even if you lose a little bit to the slag or a little bit to the mat, uh, that's okay because the little bit of gold that you lost, you can't make up the value of it in time and energy resmelting and smelting three or four times to get it all. So my strategy now is to just do a, a large smelt, a production size smelt, get as much precious metal as you can of, of high percentage, and then uh, let the rest go. And um, you can save your mat, save your slag, and reprocess at a later time. But uh, for now, I'm gonna show you my strategy. And it's the, the really the goal is to get as much material in the form of concentrates in your crucible as possible with the least amount of slag producing materials or flux, because the more uh, concentrates you can get in your crucible, the more precious metals you can get out if you can get that high percentage that we're going after. Here's a real quick look at our furnace. This is just a two inch thick kale wool. There's a number 12 fire clay crucible in there that's gonna uh, hold our material and our flux when we smelt. It's run off uh, a little propane bottle. That's a, a five gallon propane bottle. And then we're using a little shop vac for a blower. We get the temperature up to about 2200 degrees. And once it's molten, I'll pick it out of there and pour it into our cone mold here. And all the heavy metals will go down to the bottom of the cone and the slag will float on top and all of our gold and precious metals will be down there in that button that we get to knock off the slag when it cools.
All right, and here's our little bead from that 1,000 grams of uh, concentrates we ran. Ends up being right about 7 grams. So that's not too bad. Um, and again, I probably lost some a little bit of gold in the, in the slag. There was a little bit of mat in there. I don't know if you saw it in the video. Um, but it, it was one smelt. We did 1,000 grams and ended up with our uh, seven grams of, of precious metals here. So um, that's kind of my new strategy going forward is going to be, you know, get your 90 or 95%. It's, it's that 80-20 rule. You can get 80% of the results for 20% of the effort. And to get the other 20%, you need to do 80% more work. Um, so uh, really, that's where I'm going with my smelting and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, you can find our contact information in the description below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.